Hi guys, it's me Eileen at Crafty and Leanies. If you're returning, welcome back. Mwah, thank you. And if you're new, mwah, to you too. I hope you like what you see today and I would love for you to be part of my Crafty and Leanie world family. Yes, I would. And if you do, please subscribe. Subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell. That bell's going to notify you every time I upload a new video. Yes, the it end will. of this video, I hope you guys all give me a big thumbs up, please. It's going to help my channel grow and it lets me know that you like what I'm doing. Yes, it does. And that's the main important thing for that thumbs up. It lets us creators know that you like our content, what we're picking and choosing what to do for you guys. I like to keep you guys happy and when keeping you happy, that keeps me happy. Yay. I was really excited right? when grandma Sandy asked me if I to be a part of this because, um, you guys all know I love fairies. If you know me, you know I love fairies. I am I love them, right? You can tell. When you hit my channel, you can tell I love fairies. So I'm really excited about this. This is my first time doing a fairy garden. So I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm really excited. So let's see how it comes out, right? Okay. So with that, uh, like I said, much love. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are being kind to each other because that's really important especially right now today's day we need to be kind we need to love each other we need to we need to have more love out there and that's what's important is people enjoying people we're all human we're all human beings and the way this world is right now I feel it it's 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 crazy times and I really think we need kindness more today now so with that i love you be kind some plants right here my handsome devil brought me some plants so I can make it look really pretty let's see what I have more and then I have old pots that I'm going to use that out of the floor the ground that's a watering system that was here there's my soil I'm gonna put my fairy garden right in here Got me some lavender. So I'm excited to do this, ready to go, right? He put some rocks down there for me. And that little coconut bowl, I'm gonna cut up and kind of put it around so it holds the soil in. Let's see what I do, right? Well, I'm getting ready to do my fairy garden. And I got some flowers. I got one of my old plants set. She had better days, you can tell, but I'm still going to use her and see if I can bring her back to life. My son just put holes in old pots that I had. That's why he has the drill here. So I'm getting ready to do that. And let me show you. I'm going to do it right here for my planning. Okay, guys, you're going to see me start with this planning shovel. I don't know how you guys do it, but I don't have the patience for it. <laughs> Sorry. So I figured I don't have my nails on. Hey, why not? Let's get into the dirt. Let me use my hands. And I had a lot of fun using my hands 
<laughs> I don't know. That's just me, the wild side, I guess. And I just started putting all my little plants now in my pots. I've had these pots. They're old. And I've collected them like plastic ones. And I've had terracotta pots. And I just start filling them up with soil and putting my plants. I put two plants each in a pot. So I have room to put my little fairy houses in. But everything I've collected was for past two years from the Dollar Tree and from the 99 cents only store. I do get my terracotta pots from the 99 cent store and Dollar Tree and my plastic pots also from those two places. Soil, I did get at Lowell's and my flowers, my husband picked up at Lowell's also. But I had so much fun doing this. I mean, I never gardened before and I'm telling you guys, I am going to start gardening and planting more plants because it is so relaxing and it's fun and I am a nature girl. I love the nature. That's my son, Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. I want to tell him thank you for helping me. We had so much fun doing this. I'm telling you. Here we're taking off pieces of that succulent plant, the leaves on the bottom, and we're just going to insert them inside the soil so they sprout some roots. Great about succulents. You just take a leaf off, put them upright right into the soil, and they start sprouting roots. Take those out, and when they do, and plant them in other pots. And make more fairy homes. Yay! <laughs> So you could say this is kind of like what trash to treasure type deal because I've had this fire pit forever and I had plans to do this I'm telling you and I finally got to do it I cut that coconut bowl and put it around the edges so it holds the soil in and it can drain the water at the same time when we water the plants and this is what we came up with with all our pots and houses. Yay! This is an old stump from one of my trees that I used to have in the front yard. We lived at a different house and I brought it back with me because I want to put a fairy door right there. Someone here, like a chimney, like here. And then there's like a little knot in it on the side where I want to put the window. Because I do have plans for that. My, hu my husband went and picked out some flowers for me. And my son Jacob helped me with this. He had so much fun helping me. Oh, we had so much fun doing this. In fact, we want to do more. <laughs> oh, there's mushroom. And we decided, I've been having plans to do this. Like I said, I've been collecting pots and collecting rocks here and there and just different little items. I love the compass. <laughs> we put it on a compass on the rock. And then we made a little rock wreath. There's our gazebo. She's missing her fairy wings, but I love this little fairy. And I have his, he's sleeping in there. So we did a little playground. Just a slide and bench so the mama fairy could sit and watch her babies. Somebody wants to 
much a fun day, isn't it? We have some tea. We drilled holes on the bottom of that, or poked holes, got that Dollar Tree. <laughs> My lava rock. You can hear the bumblebees. They like to go all in my back field on that little slope hill. I have a bunch of like wild flowers. I don't even know what they're called. But the bees like to go in there. And then on the top of the hill, I have a beautiful orange tree orchard. And I have some lemon trees. So the bees really like to go and munch on that orange blossoms and the lemon blossoms. And that is a real bird. He makes a lot of racket every morning on through the whole day and sometimes even at night. Yeah. I did put um, solar little lights and I just used two of them. I would like to get maybe two, three more and put them in there. And I got those at the Dollar Tree, of course. So at night it lights up and my fairies can see more. <laughs> But yes, I love the nature and the sounds of the birds. I love seeing my little rabbits and like I said, and to me it just, it helps relax me. Do you like nature? Like rabbits and birds and plants and the trees? looking up at the sky with the beautiful clouds. I just love all that stuff. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you listen to this birds, the birds, and I'm sorry about the little pounding in the back. I didn't realize it picked it up. A couple blocks down, they're doing a roofing on somebody's house and I guess that's the nail gun you're hearing that and a few airplanes go by but I could not stop the sound of the birds I want you guys to listen to the birds and take a deep breath and just relax and listen to those birds I think we need some quiet time I hope you enjoy my fairy garden and the little glimpse of my nature pictures that I put up for you. My little rabbit hollow. That's what I'm going to call this. My bunny hollow. Rabbit's hollow. <laughs> well, you guys have a good one, okay? I love you and thank you for stopping on in. You have a good one. Bye.